Well, welcome to this week's podcast. I'm Tim Weigel with the New York State IPM program and the Lake Erie Regional Grape program. And it is the first week of June 2019 in the Lake Erie region. And we're finally getting a little bit of sun. Um, we're getting into the growing season and we're seeing an uptick in traffic and the need for materials and supplies in the vineyards in the region. So I haven't talked in quite a while about spotted lanternfly. It's really important that we do not have spotted lanternfly in New York State yet, at least no known infestations, and we'd like to keep spotted lanternfly out of here. So what we need to do is if we're looking at getting any supplies or materials from any of the quarantined areas, and New York State has an external quarantine, so anywhere there's an infestation in Southeast PA, New Jersey, Maryland, um, Delaware, and Virginia, um, we need to make sure that we're not importing the spotted lanternfly here when we're bringing the materials or supplies up. So, what are we looking for now? Right now we're looking for egg masses and also they spotted first instar nymphs on May 19th in Southeast PA. About two weeks ago, um, heard that in Virginia there were second instar nymphs. So, anywhere from the egg mass to the second instar nymphs. So the egg masses, they're gonna be a little tough to see this time of year. You're gonna to have to really look closely because they almost will look like splotches of mud. They've started to um, weather a bit. And so some of that protective putty-like coating that was on there is starting to come off. Um, so you can actually see the eggs. So that might make it a little bit easier, but you're gonna really have to look. So if you're bringing equipment up that has been trailered um, or just equipment itself, you're gonna to wanna to look it over very carefully. Like this trailer here, if we were looking at it, spotted lanternfly love to lay their eggs on the underside of things. So if we have fenders like this, we want to carefully inspect underneath here. And like I said, it can look like mud, so you'll actually want to go in and scrape off the mud in that. Um, it's your responsibility as a business not to bring spotted lanternfly up here. So if you're a business, New York State, as I mentioned, has the external quarantine. And part of that is, as a business, if you go down there and you spend any length of time, other than stopping to get gas, or if your vehicle breaks down, if you go into the, any of the quarantine areas or areas where there's an infestation, um, you need to have a permit that shows you went through the training of how to inspect your equipment and the materials that you're purchasing to ensure that you're not bringing spotted lanternfly back with you. Now the permit process, New York State doesn't have a permit process right now, so you're allowed to use the um, Pennsylvania permit process. Really easy, you go online, Penn State has the class to take the permit, it's an online class. If you look at it, it says two hours, approximate length of the class, but um, you can probably get it done easily in less than an hour. Take a quiz at the end of it, and you'll get a nice certificate of completion, and also be able to download um, certificates of inspection and a log, inspection log that you carry with you. And basically, when you go down there and you stop, this is just a nice reminder, you carry this in your vehicle, that you need to, you know, the date, the site, um, spotted lanternfly inspected, yes, if you found any, you mark that down, and then you talk about any control notes that you have. And that's all you need to do. You're basically ensuring that anything you're bringing out of any of the areas where there's infestation, you're not bringing back with you. So if you have any questions, on spotted lanternfly and what you can do to help make sure it doesn't come into New York State, or you have um, suggestions for other podcasts in the future, um, please leave it in the comment section below.